that out too. I mean, a lot of us love the, the uh, actors that he works with. Um, you know, uh, Summer, yourself, Summer, of course, um, Eliza, everybody. Um, and I think that when they say, oh, you know, one of the old cast members that he's worked with is coming on, I think we even gave him more excited because we just love it. So it's, um, I think that it did a lot for the fans, the Whedonverse fans, uh, to be able to watch that as well. And, um, you know, definitely, and to be able to be a chameleon, you know, that's part of being an actor. So I think that's really, really good as well. Speaking of which, um, I noticed that you've dropped your British accent pretty much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, did I have one when we – did I ever have one? <laughs> well, you did You did in, in Buffy and Angel and um, some of the oh, other stuff I saw. Oh, that's just on TV. That's just on TV. Well, you have a very impressive one because everybody thought you were British. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. You know, actually, I did have one in, in life to some extent. I, I lived over in Britain for so long um, that I had a I, – I did have a strange kind of uh, – mid-Atlantic twang when I first got here in um, in 98 uh, and I was very comfortable with, with that accent and it, and I'm pretty comfortable with most accents because it's just I have an ear for it so uh, I like it I like doing them um, but um, but I, I think uh, people are frequently surprised to hear me speak in, in 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 this way which is more or less how I've spoken most of my life although although as I say for many years in in Britain I'd been there so long that I, that I uh that I started to sound like a a native over there but uh it fell away pretty quickly once I was back here and um and uh, I think people are <laughs> actually disappointed I think they sort of uh you know when you tune into a show if you're a fan of a show and you tune in every week and you you uh you develop a sort of connection with the characters and uh and you, when they meet me, they expect me to to have that that voice, and the, they're they're intrigued, and I think maybe a little bit sorry that it, that they're not getting the real, you know, what they feel is the real sound and of Wesley. But uh, but I'm afraid that's the magic of TV. It's not everything that everything that you see is not necessarily real. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of voices, you did a lot of like you did a lot of voiceover work and a lot of other cartoon work as well. I mean, do you kind of miss doing that? I just did one. Uh, I just did uh, the Justice League, um, the new uh, the new Superman uh, uh, movie, uh, cartoon movie. I played um, a doctor who kind of uh, comes in at the beginning uh, and again at the end of the story, and it was a lot of fun. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing voice work. I would love to do more of it. I uh, the only reason I don't do more of it is because I'm a little bit lazy and don't haven't got myself together to go out and and chase it down, which, you know, I need to do a little bit of, uh, um, you know, kind of get, uh, put the word out there a little more that it's something I want to do. I, uh, I, I sit back and wait too much and, uh, I should, uh, I should work harder at that because it's so much fun. Well, I mean, obviously you have, you have time with your daughter and that's kind of consuming your time right now. Yeah. Yeah. And before that, the pregnancy, I mean, there's always, there are always things in life, um, for sure. And, uh, I did want to, you know, give really give this my full attention because there's nothing like it, nothing like uh, first time fatherhood. So I'm uh, I must say it's got me uh, it's got me doing little else but that. Uh, but yeah, having I said think... that, um, having said that, it it made the experience of shooting Dollhouse uh, a little bit richer. I mean, I uh, I think you uh, you bring something else to your work when you've got something that you care about so much, uh, like a new baby waiting for you. Well, I mean, that's absolutely great. And then, of course, Dollhouse is going to be um, coming back, I think, December the 4th, and you'll be back-to-back episodes. And uh, Alexis is going to have a prominent role on both of those episodes, so you guys got to definitely check it out as well. Thanks for being on the show. Um, I'd, love to, I'd love to get your, your wife on sometime because I've always, I've always enjoyed her, so definitely. And I hope she's doing well, and uh, wish, her, wish her the best of luck. I, I'm a huge fan. Oh, I'll tell her you said so. That's very nice of you. And, yeah, uh, we'll do. Yeah, I'd love to get her on the show sometime if I can. So, <laughs> absolutely, I'm sure she'd be delighted. And uh, thank you, by the way, for your support of uh, of me and and my work and the show. So uh, enjoy it, and uh, I, I hope I hope uh, it lives up to your expectation. Oh, I hope so too, and uh, definitely love to get back on the show too. Okay. Yep. Just let okay, thanks, me know. Thanks. I'll be happy to. Okay. Okay. Take thanks care, Mark. Alexis. Bye. You too. Hey, you're listening to Mark on Somewhere in Vegas. This is Alexis Denisoff from Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. Enjoy the show. 
And a reminder to you guys, you guys can check out Dollhouse all three seasons on Hulu. If you guys are sequestered and want to binge watch something, I highly recommend you do so. Like I said, Joss, we did a really good job on that show. Guys can check out uh, the rest of my episodes on Spreaker.com. Uh, you guys can check us out on all of our social media platforms at SWIV, at SWIV on Twitter, somewhere in Vegas on Facebook, and of course on Instagram at SWIV Podcasts. That's at SWIV Podcasts. We'll be uh, interlacing some of the new episodes versus uh, some of these rewind episodes as I start to uh, migrate some of my old interviews over here to this as well. So I hope you really enjoy some of these uh, flowback interviews as well. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you guys next week here on Somewhere in Vegas.